Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Rama Ami, SID 1951212. I'm from Architectural Design Studio 2. In this video, I want to present and explain my final exam project that called Merat. Merat is a deployable refugee kids play and learn space. Merat itself means safety or gun. So the message that I want to tell here is actually the safety feeling that has been gone from the refugee kids. As you can see on the presentation, this is the site. It's located in Kutupalong Refugee Camp in Bangladesh. Why I choose this location? Because it's the biggest refugee camp in the world. As you can see also, there is already an existing gather area. It has an even ground surface and a sandy ground. I also did the site analysis. I considered about the sun path, vegetation, and human access. I'm not going to use all of the land, I'm just going to use some part of the land in the red area. Why I choose here? Because it needs some vegetation to protecting it from the sun path and avoiding disturbing the human access. And then, this is the issues and concept. The issues of refugee kids is traumatic life, lack of education, no proper place to study, no comfortable space to play. Based on that issues, I designed a space that can transform from learning space into playing space by deployable system. So, this is the learning space. I divided the learning space into two parts, the higher blocks as the table and lower box as the seating area. This is the orientation of the seating. It can be a class study, which is the teacher in the middle and surrounding with the kids. It also can be a group study consists of three kids, individual study, or personal chit chat. I made each block 1 meter multiplied by 1 meter because I want to provide them a wide area to them explore study together and consists minimum three kids. And this area is made for 6 until 12 years old kids. So the height, I made it 2 meters. And this is the playing space. It can be deployed or transformed. And in the playing space, this is the orientation. You can play while sitting, play while standing, chit-chatting, or relaxing. It consists of nap. How to make like this from the learning space? How to transform the playing space into the learning space and from the learning space into the playing space? So, this is the deployable system. I'm using pivot system. Pivot system actually same like doors, but I'm not using it all of the edges of the blocks. I'm just put it uh, in some part of the edges of the blocks. Based on my Experiment, trial, and error. This is the final. I put it in the yellow parts, and you just have to pull it or push it. Each block affect another block. So if the one block move, another block will move automatically. And this is the angle plate for cantilever and the roofs, some nails. So let's see the details. The materials. I put the solar lamps. As you can see, there's a puzzle pattern on the roof. I made it the curve, the curve one, the curve one outside, as function as the solar lamp. Why? Because refugee kids during the day help their parents to work. So to study, they only have time at night. So to provide that, I put the solar lamp. Solar lamp also. Uh, because the place is hard to get, it's really hard to get a uh, source electric, source electricity. For the base cantilever and the roof itself, I made it from the wood for the structures and net for the playing area and also the colorful paint. I use light color in table because I want uh, it to reflect the light. So the table will not absorb the light, not absorbing the light, so it will uh, avoiding from getting hot the table. So I think that's all of my presentation. Thank you so much for watching.
Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.